now contending for the faith. In this regular feature, Dave and Tom respond to questions from listeners and readers of the Berean Call. Here's this week's question. Dear Dave and T.A., I've listened to your many programs on the emerging church movement, and I appreciate your making very clear the biblical problems with such a movement. What I find thoroughly surprising, even disheartening, is the number of very bright, articulate, young evangelical Christians that are being seduced by the emergent leaders and writers. Do you have any insight as to why so many are attracted to this movement? Oh, Dave, we could go down a list. Um, I, it begins with, uh, were they really taught the Bible? Do they really have an understanding of God's Word? Because uh, this is so anti-Bible, this movement, that it's, uh, it's stunning. The other thing, and we talked about it in our first segment a little bit, is uh, our young people, they want to be accepted. Uh, this issue of tolerance uh, it's got them. It's gripped them. They don't want to be considered to be intolerant. So they're going to go with the flow of their peers. And whether they're, whether this happens in college, whether it happens in high school, uh, they just don't want to be what the Bible calls sanctified, set apart. Mm-hmm. And it's sad, Dave, because they have the truth. And remember, Jesus in, uh, what is it? John seventeen seventeen, prayed to the Father, uh, sanctify them by thy truth. Thy word is truth. They have the truth if indeed they know Christ and have accepted Christ, but they're not willing to be many, not all. There are some kids I, I just stand in awe of, but many, I think the majority are, are drifting away, and they're being led down a primrose path by these Pied Pipers of the emerging church movement. Yeah, well, Tom, again, it's uh, just another variation of what we were just talking about. Uh, why does Oprah go from, you know, the secret, and now she's onto this new deal, uh, although it's very similar? Well, I think these young people would say, and older ones as well, if we say, why don't you get back to the Bible? Yeah, we tried that. That doesn't work. A lot of people say that. Well, I tried surrendering my life to Christ. I tried believing. It, it doesn't work. Well, then I guess the Bible isn't true. We should all throw it out. Because, wait a minute, how is it going to work? By faith. I must believe it. I'm, and this is what Oprah wants you to do. She wants you to believe this. Believe this guru. Believe the secret, oh, and so forth. But that's not the same kind of faith. And we can't prove this is true. We just went over that. You cannot prove that Tolley's book is true. You cannot prove that the secret is right, and we can certainly, well, it'd be easy to prove it doesn't work because none of those people have ever gotten everything they want, can't be what you want, and go where you want, and so forth. Um, I guess if that would certainly free a lot of prisoners, uh, like, you know, Maharishi was teaching them how to fly. Well, I don't hear of any followers of Maharishi in prison that went over the prison walls. Mm, yeah. His form of levitation through transcendental meditation. Right. Well, Dave, let's go back to Oprah just for a second. Uh, you heard you heard her, uh, the video in which she said, uh, uh, listen, Christianity is not the only way. There are many ways. So here you have, I mean, she claims to be a Baptist. I mean, she grew up a Baptist, was turned off by learning or learning that God was a jealous God. She couldn't reconcile that with her understanding of God. And and now she's opened up to all kinds of other teachings, all kinds of other beliefs. And she's come up with really, whether you call it New Age or Eastern mystical or whatever, she has, <laughs> she's no longer a Baptist. Not that baptism saves anybody, that is, being a Baptist saves anybody, but uh, she's jumped from the truth if she's ever understood it. I don't believe she ever understood it. So she never knew the Lord. You don't lose your salvation. 
this woman is determined to take her own way. Mm-hmm. And she knows what's popular. Uh, she runs a talk show. Well, you can't be a talk show host and say, Jesus warned you, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. No, sounds a whole lot more appealing. And Tom, one of your verses that you often quote, there's a way that seemeth right unto a man. The end thereof are the ways of death. Why does it seem right unto a man? Not because he's analyzed it logically, not because he's checked it out from the Bible, but because, hey, this sounds really, I'd I'd really like this. Uh, So, um, well, Dave, along this line of the question that we've just received, uh, you know, young people, uh, in many cases, and I see it too often, there are some things that they want to do that the Bible says no. Right. And uh, so they're going to jump ship because their heart, their minds, their flesh says, no, I want this more than I want God's word, God's truth. Yeah, Tom, uh, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And uh, I often think of these televangelists. I mean, some of them really tell lies, Mm -hmm. trying to get money and so forth. They don't have any fear of God. I don't think they even believe in God. So we have a lot of people who claim they believe in God. They grew up in a church, believe in God, believe in Jesus Christ, but you don't study his word, and you do not follow what the Bible really says. How do you know uh, that what you, your interpretation of this, I mean, you've trashed the Bible. Tom, in fact, when we I don't want to go back to that, but we've talked about the message. It trashes the Bible. Mm-hmm. We've got these... DVDs and, and so forth. This is spiritual junk food. This is what these young people are being raised on. How can they find some stability from solid rock under their feet because the Bible, so-called, that they even have and what the teaching they're getting from church is not based upon the solid foundation of the Word of God and of Jesus Christ. For more information about the Berean Call, Call us toll-free at our order number or visit our website, 